higher, hopefully the last of it for these, but we're taking our time to make sure it's fine. So we've got the height of the tide at a harbour entrance modelled with that function. So from, the, from that, things we know, we know that the centre line is five metres above the ground. It's got an amplitude of two and a half metres. So on this graph, it starts at five, it drops down to, uh, I can't really tell from the scale, but I'd say that that's two and a half. Does that line up roughly? So it drops down by two and a half, and it goes up by two and a half. There. So that's like the height of your tide from a boat. There. I've got three boats. Uh, so maximum height of the tide, minimum height. So max height, 7.5, min height, 2.5, there. Uh, what's the period of oscillation for the tide? So remember, uh, 360 over 30. So 360 over 30 is going to give us 12 hours. Which you kind of hope for if there's two sets of tides in one day. Goes in, goes out, goes in, goes out in one day. So 12 hours is quite nice. So then it says, what's the height at 6 metres? Uh, so what we got? So I'm looking where 6 is on here. So I want a graph. So this is part C. So I want a graph. Uh, my h is 2.5 sine of 32 oops, plus 5 and h is 6. So do it straight on the calculator. So we cheat a bit. Uh, you say cheat, I say do it. Right, so that's half. Uh, 2.5 sine, oops, uh, 30 it was, wasn't it? 30t, I might put a graph bit like that so it keeps it together and there's no confusion with a plus 5 at the end. Plus 5, and uh, 6 it was, wasn't it? 6 as well. Right, so I need to sort my axes out now because I won't get anything from that. So x min will have a 0 because we might as well. x max will have as 8, so it goes over the top. We'll have it going up in 2s. Oh no, X is oh, got me X. That's my Y I should be doing. Uh, 12 hours, what a day. Do we should have a day or just one tide? One tide, so do not 12 for one tide. So we'll have that going up in threes. And then Y min, we're going to have a zero to eight there. Let's have a look at that now. There, that kind of looks like our picture. And if I G solve it, or you. I get out, so I've got to want to do is write down that 6 is 2.5 sine of 30t plus 5. And then I've solved it, and I've got t as 0.786 or 5.21. There. So that's the... The question says, when is the height of the tide at 6 metres? So then are the heights of the tide when it's at 6 metres. Right, now then, part D says, if a boat can only enter and leave when the depth exceeds 6 metres, how long each day is that possible? So if you look, look on the graph, from this point here to this point here, it's more than 6 metres. So if you imagine you've got your little boat there, and it's got a big keel, and that keel doesn't hit the ground if it's more than six metres. That's the idea behind it. So between these times, I'm okay. So I'm okay between 0.786 and 5.21. So it wants to know for how long each day. Um, so if I do... 
5.21 minus 0.786, that gives me roughly 4.428 hours. And then on my calculator, if I do 428 times 60, or 0.428 times 60, it tells me that it's 4, four hours and 26 minutes. Now here's the thing, this is like he's trying to get me on this one. Uh, for how long each day? Now I've just done it, this is just for one tide. But there's two tides in a day. It goes in and out twice. So there's two tides in a day. So I've got 4 hours 26 times 2. So I've actually got 8 hours and 52 minutes worth of time for me getting me boat in and out without it banging on the floor and looking so. Right, let's have a look at the next page then. So we've got a question for you. I'll release the question answer so you can see it. Boing. Reason for that? I'll give the question. Yeah. So if this is a bad question, it's all my fault. So there's the question. Just do the 360 over 30. God, there's more to it. What was I thinking of here? Great. Yeah. So all in. Then we got consolidation. So well done, everybody. Bye bye.